Welcome to another episode of the Kin Seed series. Let's go ahead and talk to Father. I worked on this farm all my life, poured my life and soul into it. I can't tell you how good it feels to know it'll stay in the family when you two inherit it. I feel like we've read that one before. Nothing tastes quite as good as something you've grown yourself. In the soil, I mean. Don't want to be eating your own warts. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yes, we've seen that one. Alright, so you had nothing new to say. Pasts, deliver honey, meet ash, feed the creatures. It's in our brother, so we'll probably try to find him. No mail. We do have tomatoes though, that's exciting. Oh, we did get seeds. What? Yeah, I think we have time for everything to grow. Oh, there's our sibling. Uh, it doesn't look like he has anything to say. Let's see if... How are you? Gift. An apple. Do you have a secret? Uh, Jeffrey really doesn't like mess. Okay. Oh man, I just watered. We did get the honey and that was for... Jacob? Yes, so we need to go to Cuckoo Wood. For both of these, so that's convenient. So I'll head down and take the goddess statue to the cocoa wood uh where are we out of the map i don't know where we're gonna meet ash but i do know eventually we'll end up there so maybe i'll check there so we're closer there than jacob not here all right to jacob Ooh. morning sun warms parsley cheeks for the whole of eight long weeks So, all year round. Jake. You're not Jacob. This is where Jacob lives. He lives in the freaking graveyard. I knew that. Good lord. Ah, oh, you want a tomato. Here you go. Very generous of you. Secrets? Alright. Well then, tell me some gossip. Uh, Melanie's birthday. Jacob! Hello! Here is your honey. Uh, gift. I don't know anything that he likes. I don't think we have any grave lilacs. Because I bet he might like that. For now, an apple. Gossip! Hazel's birthday. Thank you. A book. This is telling us about. Take your dogs with us and digging where they bark. Alright, back to the... Oh! I hadn't discovered that one. Up to Cuckoo Wood. Now where, oh where, could Ash be? Maybe the entrance? I should probably double check that it says... Okay. It is indeed in the cuckoo wood. I believe I am in the cuckoo wood. <laughs> but after my confidence of trying to find uh, Jacob here, I don't know that I trust myself. Not at this entrance. Ash! There we go. Ah, great to see you. I'm glad that you came. I discovered a passage in a nature book about a butterfly called the Silver Skipper, and legend says that if you throw a pear into the glowing pool by the face tree, then it'll appear. This is when you must use your jar and capture it. Sadly, I do not know exactly where this tree is, so I will search west and you search east. Here's the jar. Good luck. Thanks, Ash. Off to the face tree. We're gonna have to put a pear into our hot bar. Alright, inventory. Pears there. Uh, let's take the wooden bucket and swap it out. So they're right next to so they're next to each other. Here's our face tree. I don't know that this is a glowing, glowing pond, but it'll do. Hey. Uh, don't know why it wasn't working. It was nice it stayed around. You found a new insect. The Silver Skipper. I never know the difference between collect, store, and let go. Obviously, I don't let go is, but I'm pretty sure collect is into the book and store is keeping the jar. Uh, 
inventory. Let's see, our insects. There's our silver skipper. So we have zero out of the stars. I am still curious what we're going to end up doing with these. Ash! Ash found it! Do you want it? Wow, it's really starting to rain. Oh no! A storm went from a pleasant rain to a storm. Ash! You found it! Amazing! The legend was true! It is so beautiful. You could scare stare at it all day. But find your keepers. You will make a great naturalist. One day you should visit Erwin, the master. He lives in Pinehaven where the nature is meant to be incredible. Ooh. Can we get there? I don't know. Greetings. How are you? Gift. Uh, carrot. Secrets. Uh, Jeffrey likes blue fish. Ooh. Yeah, I never think to gift fish. So it's always good to learn. Is that all our tasks for today? It is. That's exciting. Oh, Hazel! Hey! Friendly, so... gift... I still don't have any milk on me. Uh, gossip? I found an iron nail stuck in my door the other morning. Someone was trying to warn me. Or it's for hanging something on. <laughs> Probably the latter. Though very suspicious if you didn't add it yourself. Let's use this to go to town. Oh boy. Very stormy. I was going to see about the task board. I don't think I'm going the right way for that though. <laughs> yeah. With the sound from the inside of the house is so nice. This is just telling you how to bake using the kiln. <laughs> and so it's saying once you've pulled out and reveal your baked delight, either it will be as stout as an oak and like a lovely crust and hot feeling, or it will be withered like my pride after Melanie Baps rejected my proposal. We could have made sweet breads together. I will never get to cup her cakes. I will have to become a master baker in order to forget her. <laughs> we should get this butterfly. Give it to me. A blue bob. It was very pink for a blue bob. Collect. There's so many people in town. Alright, so let's grab this. Big request. Pear and blueberry. I'd have to look. I don't know that we have that many blueberries. No, definitely not that. Ooh. 48 brass. Uh, let's see. Blueberries to Warzel. Or money. Let's go. Let's take a blueberry to Warzel. Because I think. I saw him. There he is. Hello. Greetings. Would you like your blueberry? Thank you. Uh,. Gift that. Gossip. Teresa is 36. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, Edward. I uh, wasn't trying to talk to you. <laughs> oh, no. Neutral. I was trying to talk to Pappy. Me too. Separate. Ah. Pa Pappy? No, Edward. Happy. No. Happy. Edward is very freaking chatty. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> hey, Pappy, how's it going? <sighs> I really need to carry milk on me. Um, the strawberry. Uh, we're still neutral. But I didn't make it worse, and that's all that matters. I'm trying to see if I can find any bugs to catch. Which is why the, um,. Little pop-ups. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's the that's the light lighter. We don't need to catch that. <laughs> I was like, it's so fast. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be a fly in the house that we could get. There's always flies around. Oh, I got three apples from that tree. Oh yeah. Oh, a note. For Morzel. Friendship means a lot. 
You sure? You sure it means a lot to you? <laughs> I guess you gave me a fancy rotten apple, but uh, <laughs> I'm a little offended. Sibling, oh, they're talking to each other. That's cute. Have you guys seen any bugs? <laughs> oh, sub blue one up here. Yes, B. Collect that. That's what I want. Is that blue butterfly? Come here, but oh, here a blue bob. What? Last one was pink. This isn't how this works. Go back. Go back. Aha! Blood type B. Oh. No window smackers in here. Ah, rain. I needed to wash. I know you could bathe in other locations and at other times than in the rain, right? Reminder added. I was like, so I watched past that. Like, we're surrounded by water on this farm. <laughs> Nightberry? Ooh, I didn't know we had night berries on the farm. Right fish from the river as well or only ponds? Eel. All right. Did I say rainfish or moonfish? I meant rainfish. In case I didn't say that right. Ah, oh, there is another fish. What are you? River trout. Rainfish. Oh, I didn't see the. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> I was waiting for that, and then I was gonna head to bed. I mean, I should have known better. So, what are we gonna need to do today? Had this letter left slipped under the door for you. By the state of the writing, I expect it's from the strange lad from the nook. Got to go on with preparing for summertide, so do whatever you want today. I'm looking forward to seeing who the Herald is this time. The Herald? Hey pal! Or, I guess, dear pal. Great news! Fair Mr. Fireweather wants to meet you. He asked me t all about you. He said if I bring you to him, you could see if there's anything you want. Meet me outside your house at midnight tomorrow. Mr. Fireweather says, don't worry about waking up. The dream is the door. Your new pal, Twig. Oh no. Alright. Why do you think Uncle Bill picked us to come here? Was it just luck? Is it because we're twins? Or is there something else going on that not even Uncle Bill knows about? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he said he's our uncle, so I'd assume that he knew our parents. That's how uncles work. Uh, dream he keeps having. Uncle Bill. We've seen that one. We've had bad years. We've seen that one. I remember when I was your age, didn't much care for all of this talk of goddesses and such. Then I made an offering. Ah yes, this is where he gets the coin. So yes, we are all caught up on these two. Uh, I might go ahead and grab that and nap for an hour. It was a rough night sleeping under that tree and all, so. Uh, I think that's going to be where I end this episode. It seems like things are going to start getting real serious with the end of the uh, season. Seems like tomorrow might be summertide and then we'll talk to Fairweather that night. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>